what's up guys uh welcome back we are going to be installing this uh 03 60 power show turbo into that first gen cummins right here this is just an aftermarket intake manifold that i've made up and that's an aftermarket uh drain tube i made up you can see it's kind of jv welded there welded and jv welded this is the exhaust pipe that I have tacked up and welded a while ago. And uh, without further ado, let's uh, get started. So the first thing we need to do is adapt O3 Turbo to the Cummins manifold that's on there. That's a T3 manifold. This is also a T3 flange made for that manifold. Let's get on. This thing on. So we got this adapter mounted up. It's time to stick the uh, turbo back in and uh, hook everything up. And then this is the VGT wire right here, actually. Just to wanted to show you guys. Right there. Pops right in the side. So uh, let's get the turbo in there. There's the turbo. guys that is the temporary charge tube so I'm actually doing a swap I'll explain that to you guys in another video but this engine is going into a different truck but let's hook up the uh, the drain tube which is just JB welded to the actual 60 turbo uh, drain tube just welded together to the OEM Cummings drain and uh, put the uh, exhaust on there yeah, this is the downpipe that I made with a, a tight 90 straight this is a 45 right here so I split this 90 in half made 40 and then a straight and then that would be another 40 uh, out the back right now it's just pointing down at the ground there and uh, we can hook up this thing right here this is all you have to do hook it up clip and then that's it just make sure it doesn't come out there's your VGT switch. There's a plate right here that I made up and that holds the drain tube. Um, right here, you see these tabs sticking out right here? That's what holds it up into the turbo. Here's that plate I was talking about. There's a little fork that holds those tabs up. And it's just pretty simple. That's all I did to hold that drain tube up in that turbo to keep it from leaking or popping out. So let's just install that drain tube and then we can uh, prime the turbo and then put the feed line and that should be it. Put this, and this is the uh, stock drain tube that went on to the uh, stock Cummins H1C whole set turbo. But I had to get an adapter for this feed line flange, and uh, I believe this I'll link it down in the video. But I think it's like 1 8 MTP to like 3 8 MTP. Pre oil this. Definitely recommend putting uh, Teflon tape on this uh, thread here so you don't have any chance of leaking. I don't know. I do not have an intake filter for this turbo yet, but she's all done. And, uh, turbo installed. Had to reweld that adapter in that last video that I posted on YouTube. And uh, let's just see how this thing fires up.
this truck is so bad. Oh my god. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed that video of me installing that turbo, getting the turf pipe on, the drain tube, and the, uh, the feed line. And then I'll, if you want me to show you guys how I wired up the solenoid switch, you can just bleep bloop in the comments and let me know. And um, it's just all temporary until the, the swap happens. Then this charge tube is going to get changed out with a steel stainless steel charge tube and power coated uh, along with these uh, is also going to get power coated as the same thing same color as this so uh, thanks for watching and uh, subscribe like comment and uh, let me know what you think of peace